I think what stood out to me right away was how welcoming everybody was to us as interns, as students. We're only here for a few weeks. No one really had to take the next step in and trying to mentor us or, or be our preceptor for this short period of time. But right away I felt like I was part of the Mayo family. I think that'll hold true even when I leave the program. I chose Mayo Clinic's pharmacy internship program because I knew that it would challenge me as a pharmacy student and it would offer me a diverse opportunity of different experiences that are unmatched anywhere else, quite frankly, in the nation and possibly in the world. The Pharmacy Internship Program at Mayo Clinic is a 10-week program. We specifically designed it that way. Um, traditionally, a lot of schools and organizations do what they call introductory pharmacy practice experiences. Mayo Clinic took a different pathway about two decades ago. Our summer internship at 10 weeks exposes you to all areas of pharmacy practice. We focus on things such as projects, um, certainly professional development, and meeting those leaders to network and to learn the practice of pharmacy and what it looks like in the real world. I came across Mayo Clinic's pharmacy internship through their website, and what caught my attention was just their, the values that they have and how they represent the three Mayo's shields, which are education, patient care, and research. The pharmacy interns truly do live the three shields of Mayo Clinic, patient care, research, and education. And they do that largely through the projects that we assign them throughout the summer. So pharmacy interns during the summer have the opportunity to work on quality improvement projects or research projects. Some of these projects may be tailored to internal medicine, emergency department, critical care, infectious disease. Uh, for example, one of my projects had to do with beta-lactam a therapeutic drug monitoring program and creating an educational mo module on that. We're the first class to do this program having its focus be projects and so it's a project-based internship with all these other components. I chose Mayo Clinic's pharmacy internship because of the wonderful professional development opportunities because I am really looking forward to doing residency after pharmacy school so I think Mayo Clinic is a wonderful place to set myself up for success there. So the professional development component of our program is absolutely critical. We believe that in order to develop future leaders we need to give them the tools to be successful. My favorite professional development session was the one about soft skills. So Pharmacists are known for their clinical knowledge and their technical skills, and those are all very important things that pharmacists can provide. But I think um, creating and honing in on those soft skills, you know, how do you interact with people, whether that be patients or the team you're working with, how do you de-escalate a tense situation, how do you convey that knowledge that you have, you know, those soft skills can really set us apart. And I think it's something that's not always focused on. The mini rotations are awesome. Um, this is your opportunity as an intern to go and round with our pharmacy residents or our pharmacists and see virtually every area of pharmacy practice at Mayo Clinic, which is pretty much everything. The internship is 10 weeks and we start on the second week for mini rotations. So how we set them up is really just reaching out to the preceptors and we have all the contacts that are provided to us, emailing them, letting them know that we're interested in seeing them practice in their area and going there and shadowing them for a day and working with them to see what makes them so passionate about their area, what they do and really growing in that exposure as interns. The Meet the Leader session is a great opportunity. So our interns get to essentially interview our leaders, our pharmacist leaders, our pharmacy technician leaders, and even our pharmacy residents, and learn and get insight on the skills that they need to prepare for to be a competitive applicant for a pharmacy residency or for a job thereafter. We've met leaders from research and development, administration, uh, various practice sites such as ambulatory care, clinical settings, things of that sort. It's been really neat to be able to pick their brains, hear about their career paths. So when we met with the leaders, it was really our time to ask whatever questions we wanted. So it was more of an organic nature. A lot of the questions were about their career paths. They always knew this is what they wanted to get into, and any advice they had for us as students. My favorite part of being the Pharmacy Internship Program Director is seeing students come from all areas of the United States. Whether it's north, south, east, or west, we have pharmacy interns join us from all areas of the country. And it's exciting, the excitement and the enthusiasm that these interns bring to our program, our department, and our organization 
is nothing short of infectious. The other part of that I really value and certainly get, getting to know these interns is also a, one of my favorite components. I get to see these students young in their professional career. We form that relationship, that professional relationship, and I get to see them grow as they pursue the rest of their pharmacy schooling, and even potentially residency and jobs thereafter. We form lifelong relationships through this internship.